Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some quick tips to help you whack players with Seraph's mace and then set them on fire. Seraph is Monolith's new carry. It's the first melee carry in Paragon. Well, actually, if you think about how melee carries work in other MOBAs, she doesn't fit that bill at all. Just like how Greystone was meant to be a melee carry, but come on. Come on. She might not play like a carry, but she can certainly, absolutely destroy enemy heroes, whatever you class her as. Anyway, today we're not getting into the fine details of Seraph, we're throwing out those quick tips. Right off the bat, her ability, Heaven's Fury, will give her a brief window of immunity. She cannot be hurt, and she can't be stunned in any way, like a stasis gem. So you can use this to avoid every ability in the game. Gadget's Mine is a great example. Just wait until it's about to blow and then make yourself a mute. You can use it to dodge a Steel Ult, a Sever Ogle, or whatever burst ability you want. You can even dodge Countess's ultimate as well if you're extra good at the timing. And you can use this ability to hover in the air for a moment too, which then gives Seraph extra versatility when it comes to kiting an enemy melee. Similar to how it's as R2000 Rocket, you can jump into the air with Ascend and then extend how long you're up there with Heaven's Fury, which is pretty neat. Understanding how her ability work will be key to pumping out the most damage and in doing so prevent the enemy from hurting you because she's got to dive in there to do damage and she's actually pretty squishy so you'll have to time your immunity well to stay alive but another way to stay alive is to just kill the enemy. Seraph holds some of the biggest AoE burst in the game even more so when you're building crit and man oh man you've got to build crit. Pump out that extra damage by frame cancelling. Chastise buffers her wings in front of her to do a cone of damage and also apply a slow to anyone hit. So, similar to Murdoch's Buckshaw or Grux's Double Pain, you can slide in a Chastise between basic attacks. So, basic, Chastise, basic, which is much faster. You'll pump out that key damage extra quick and remember, if the enemy is dead, they can't hurt you anymore. Yay! So again, Seraph needs to make sure she uses her utility to survive team fights. So another way to avoid damage is to simply ascend. This cannot avoid everything but it can dodge many abilities, and it's really easy to do. A steel jumps into the air to ultimate, just press ascend. You'll leap into the air and avoid his. And this can be used on many abilities, such as Severog Rue or Gideon Rock. It has more practical uses as well in avoiding skill shots too, because if someone like Narbash throws a thunk at you and you dive up into the air, you'll just move out of the way. Same for like a Rampage Rock or whatever. Not to mention this ability can traverse terrain as well. It's as straightforward as can be. Just fly up in the air and aim where you want to land, and that could be up on a ledge and away from the danger. Or it could even be as a surprise attack from below. Who would expect that? Let's talk about Raptor Killing Power. Previously, the king of Raptor Killing was the one and only Chimera. With Seraph in play, things are a bit different now. Her ultimate will greatly weaken those affected by it, causing them to do way, way less damage. And this is going to be key to your survival in team fights, but that's a really obvious tip. Just use your ultimate when next to the person you want to do the least damage. The more people you hit, the better it is. The key here is to not forget that this works on raptors. I've been killing raptors as early as 8 minutes in the game with this fantastic ultimate. With the help of one or two teammates, you can burn down a raptor really quick in the early game and then take each raptor that spawns by yourself in a 1v1 fight for the entire match. That is a lot of CP in Seraph's hands, so take it. Seraph is pretty insane when it comes to killing rangers too. Twin Blast and Murdoch will struggle to win a 1v1 against her because she's going to 1. nerf their damage, 2. avoid their stuns and knockbacks, and 3. she can dash after their escape when they use a dash or a blink. So as Seraph, make sure you're having your free ranger meal as much as you can before teamfights. And finally, my favourite thing about Seraph, and probably my biggest, most important tip. Heaven's Fury can make you immune to damage and all of that, right? But did you know that it can crit? In fact, did you know that it can lifesteal as well? Using this ability correctly in the late game can carry a match. If you've built crit, Heaven's Fury allows you to harass from a safe distance over and over and do hilarious damage. At max level, it's barely 6 seconds wait time between cooldowns as you spam this thing out at the enemy. You can use it to clear waves or harass those poor bastards while they try to hide behind the tower. I love to keep hitting the enemy carry with this in the late game before a teamfight, which will put them really low and then they can't really be a part of the following fight. 
fight, which makes the following push into the tower or inhib so easy. And because it can lifesteal too, you can pop this ability on minion waves and watch as your life rockets back to full. It's awesome. My main tip here is to make sure you use Heaven's Fury to harass in the late game. If you can use it multiple times on the enemy team before the team fight begins, you'll give yourself that huge advantage before the fight breaks out because they're extra hurt and you were fine. If you're lucky and it crits, you might even kill someone before that fight as well. Good luck and have fun with Seraph. I'm hoping to get out some gameplay for you guys soon to show her true power and of course what role she fills best. If you have any tips on Seraph that you'd like to share with other players, then share them in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.